South Korea successfully conducted a test flight of a solid fuel space launch vehicle. With the latest updates, we have our Lee Dae-yeon standing by on the line for us. Dae-yeon, do fill us in. Right, Daniel. As you just said, a test flight of a solid fuel space launch vehicle was successfully conducted at around 6.50 p.m., nine months after the homegrown rocket's first test. After the flight, the defense ministry said that this was a subsequent test after the first in March, while saying that more will be carried out in the coming years. Back in March this year, the state-run Agency for Defense Development carried out the first test of the domestically developed solid fuel space rocket at a testing site in Tan County, 150 kilometers southwest of Seoul, to confirm its capabilities. The rocket is designed to put a small satellite into a low orbit for surveillance operations. Compared with liquid fuel space vehicles, vehicles, solid fuel ones have a more simplified structure and are more cost-effective to launch. Seoul's space rockets project gained momentum after Seoul and Washington agree last year to lift the missile range guidelines that have restricted South Korea from developing or possessing ballistic missiles with a maximum range greater than 800 kilometers. Meanwhile, some citizens across the country had previously reported that there was an unidentified flying object in the sky, but turned out that this was the test flight. The ministry said that officials had earlier prepared safety-related measures for in the air and at sea, but was not able to notify citizens in advance due to military security matters. That's all I have for this hour. Back to you, Daniel.